Hi, my name is Catherine Wendt with Syscon and thanks for taking a moment of your time. Today I wanted to share with you a few tips from our techs and I've translated them to English for all of us. So uh, here they are, I just have a couple. First one, sonic wall firewalls. Uh, many, many of our clients have sonic wall firewalls and uh, those of you who might be watching who aren't our clients, it's a very popular business class firewall. Sonic wall um, has assessed all of its fleet, all of the offerings, and had put out some critical firmware updates uh, just to continue to lock things down and stay on top of it. Uh, for our clients, we reached out to all of you and we let you know that these needed to be uh, installed on your firewall and there'd be a short interruption um, so the firewall could reboot. If you've not already done that with us, please call the office, we'll get that done. If uh, you are not a client of ours but you're watching the video, contact your IT people, or if you don't have one, let us know. We're happy to help you with this SonicWall firewall, but it is critical updates and they need to be installed. The second thing I wanted to talk about from them is anti-spam. Many of you are moving to Microsoft 365 or have recently done so. Uh, the anti-spam. So this is way easier than what we were doing before. There's no more secondary portal that you have to go log into to see what is potentially spam. You actually can just go to the junk folder and see right there, and we've got um, easy visibility, just click on it. Also, any of these email that you're getting in, either um, in the focus or the other group, if you use that, you can right click on them and say, never block, if it's somebody you wanna make sure always gets through. You can right click and say, always block, and they won't come through for you again, they'll always go to junk. You don't have to send in a request, nothing special, you can do it all for yourself right then and there. The last one is changing banks. So we got a little tired of our bank being bought, and so we went and found another bank. But part of that process is letting your vendors and your clients know of your new routing information, especially with the number of electronic payments, positive pay, and um, ACH options that are out there, which is great. So we let everybody know, and we are so thankful that many of you actually called us and said that you had a policy in place You'd be happy to make the change, but you actually needed to talk to us to confirm that it really was us making the request and that you needed the right authorized person. Go team, good for you. We should all be doing this. Whether you're the vendor changing, whether your vendor is changing on you, if someone sends you, I have new bank routing information, you really, really, really need to pick up the phone and confirm with the right person on the other end that they are actually the ones making that inquiry. And we actually have a little article about somebody that didn't follow those steps. It was a city and uh, impacted one of our clients. So we definitely encourage you to do that. All right, so that's it. Those are the te tech tips from our techs in plain English. Sonic walls, make sure that firmware is updated. Anti-spam, you have a lot more control in your own Microsoft 365 than you have in the past. And if you're changing banks, pick up the phone and have the conversation. Thanks for your time. Stay safe and have a great rest of your week. Thank <music> you.